Welcome to Le welcome to Leisha today. So today I'm showing you guys my Epson EcoTank ET2800. And as you can see, it's showing on here that the ink pad needs service. Contact Epson. So I already bought off of Amazon a ink pad extra sponge for the maintenance box. I'll link this down below, but this is the one that I purchased. So let me show you guys how I'm going to get my printer back printing. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my paper out that I have in there because it just stopped in the middle of me printing. And I am going to turn off my printer. All right. So I'm just gonna unplug it from back here just so that it doesn't have any power going into it while I'm working on it. And I'm just gonna turn it around so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, so when I turn it around, you can see right here, there's this little box right here. So what you're gonna need for this is a regular screwdriver. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this part off. Make sure you keep up with your screws. So put them someplace that they won't get lost. I have like this little container here. So I'm just gonna put them in there. And then I am just gonna slide this box. So I just slid it forward towards the camera. And then you can see that there's this little box here. All right, so now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this towards you guys so you can see there's one more screw that you wanna take out here. Okay, so again, make sure you put this screw in some place safe. All right, so once you take the screw off from right here, then you're just gonna take your box and you're just gonna pull it straight out. And as you can see, mine is soaked. I can feel it, it feels kind of heavy. So let me show you guys. You can see it's filled with ink, okay? All right, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this box and take this one out of here. And I take it out, I have like a pair of some gloves to use to protect my hand from the ink. I have an extra ink pad here. So I could just take that one out of the one that's in there and then just put a new one in there. Or for now, I'm just gonna use this one that already is inside of this new container. Up. There's some tweezers, so if you have the ink pad that you want to take out and replace, you can use this so you don't get your hands dirty with the ink. And then you have a bag here that you can put in the old one. So I'm just going to take this bag and I'm just going to put this old ink cartridge in here. And then it came with a screwdriver as well. So if you didn't have one at, on hand at home like I did, then this one actually came with one so you didn't have to worry about grabbing one from your house. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this new one and I'm just going to put it straight back in so it clicked in place. And I'm just going to do the reverse of what I did. I'm going to put this screw back in. So you guys see this is pretty simple to do. Right, so I got that one in. Just turning it back around so you guys can see this part again. And then you're going to put this slot back on. So like I said, you just slide it in, like how you slid it out. So you hear that click? Okay. And then I'm just gonna put this screw back on. I'm going to turn it back on that same air on there once I turn it back on all right so let me show you guys the next step okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this wick reset.com so I just went to my google search and I just typed in wick reset utility and I went to this website you're gonna go here and you're gonna click this download wick reset utility for the mac if you have a mac if not get the windows one and then you're just going to go ahead and open it up. And then for the Mac, I'm going to double click this so you can see. It's going to give you this error here. So I'm just going to push open. All right, so I ran to 
to Staples real quick and I picked up the Phillips USB-C to B since I have a MacBook and the USB is a C. If you have a different computer, so say like a Windows, you might need to get the A to B one. Okay, so from what I've read, everything is just saying just go ahead and just use the USB connection to do this printer counter reset, or I should say whatever it is, the reset. So just save yourself the headache and go ahead and make sure you have this cable. So let's go ahead and hook this, my computer up and let's see if this will just get it done quicker. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and so this is what this site looks like. Go ahead and plug it in. All right, so I got that one, and then I'm just gonna plug the other end into my computer. And like I said, since I have a MacBook, it has the C connector. And it's just saying, allow the accessory to connect. I'm just gonna push allow. And then I'm gonna try this one more time. So hopefully now that it's plugged in and it's still showing my computer, I'm just gonna go ahead and do reset the race counter. And then, like I said, I'm gonna do the free trial one. So T-R-I-A-L. And then let's see if it doesn't do this query is rejected. So hopefully it works. So I don't have to buy a reset key. So I don't know if it's okay. And yes. Oh, it still says it's rejected. All right. So we're going to come back over here. Let me just check to see if maybe it's just not connecting to the USB. So I'm going to go here back to my computer. And let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So I'm just gonna go, okay. I'm gonna go to the settings. I'm gonna go to, okay, so this one. So under printer setup, go to, what was I? Printer setup, go all the way to seven out of seven, at least on my uh, printer, PC connection via USB. I'm gonna push enable. Okay, and I'm just gonna turn it off I'm gonna give it a second here and then I'm gonna turn it back on let's see if it establishes that it's on the USB all right so then it says select your your um, printer so I'm just gonna go here select my printer if you have selected up and things, it's necessary to prepare. Cancel all print jobs. So follow all the directions here. So I'm going to push continue. I want to reset my waste counters. So it's telling me to enter the product key. So it told me on this site that if I want to set it back to 80%, this is the first time I'm doing this reset key, I can use the, this this um, these letters here, T-R-I-A-L. And then I'm going to push OK. All right, so it looks like it's doing it. So now it's telling me in order to apply all the changes made to your printer, now turn it off immediately using the printer power button. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna turn this off. As it said. All right, and then on here, it pops up this window. Congratulations, your printer's waste counter has now been reset. Once your printer has shut down, you can turn it back on and continue to use the printer as normal. All right, so now I'm turning it back on after you guys saw the message saying that everything should be good. And bam, there you guys have it. So let me test, print out a test sheet so you guys really see that it did fix it. All right, you guys, so I just pressed print. And yay, it's printing again. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Stay blessed.